Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today I will be showing you guys how to create a fireball. If you want to learn how to make a fireball that looks exactly like this on the screen right now, then make sure to watch until the end of the video and let's get straight into this. Alright guys, so first of all I would like to say that if you guys want to just have just the code, Go down to the link in the description and there will be a pastebin.com link which you can just go to there and you can steal the entire code if you want. If you want to see how this works for yourself in the game then there will be some other Roblox link which you can go to which will contain all the stuff there. There will also be music and other stuff down there. Read the description if you want some more information about this video and there will be, you know and also if you want to suggest anything then go down to the comments down below and make sure to suggest something. So I've been having a lot of support recently and it's great. So I want to create another short this week. So this week um, someone requested to create a fireball. So the requester is on screen now with the comment or um, message to me on Roblox, whichever one it was. I forgot the name unfortunately, but I decided to spend a few minutes, well, took me about 30 minutes in total to figure it out on how to create a fireball. So today we're going to be creating a fireball. So well, I've already created a fireball here and also Roblox's new dark theme. Thank goodness it came out. I am so happy man. So this could look a bit new to some of you. I just want to quickly start off by showing you how to do it. So you go into file settings and then you go into studio and then you go into UI theme. You can select it to dark or light. Select it to dark if you really want to actually like save your eyes. And so that'll save this so you can just ignore that. Okay cool. So I've already gone ahead and made a fireball so I've used this colour here to create the fireball, so my colour is 255-105-30, as the material is neon, all the other stuff is default, uh, the anchor and all of this doesn't really matter, and it's size 4 for 4 and it's shape is ball, so that's how I created this little fireball. So I am going to start off by the script, and we're going to only need about 24 lines of code in total to create this script, it's a really small script. And that's great because it shouldn't be too complicated. I wouldn't want to create a complicated tutorial seeing as this is starting off as basic tutorials for you guys. So first of all, what we're going to, um, basically how this is going to work is we're going to create a base variable and then we're going to be using a body velocity to basically make the ball uh, go in a direction. And then we're going to create a function that will generate a new fireball. And then we're going to destroy that fireball after it's been displayed for a certain amount of time. And then I'm also going to create a script that will generate random fireballs. So you can either create a script or a module script for this bit. I'm going to use a script just for it to be easier. And let's start off with our base fireball. So we're going to go local base fireball equals instance.new class. And we're going to go base fireball.name is fireball, that's optional. All of the settings you can change to whatever you want. But you're going to just want to uh, set uh, something like these kind of settings, like the shape, I would recommend a ball. You can create it whatever you want, want it to look like. As long as it's just one part, it should be all right. And so my material is material neon, and then my color is colorful. We got from RGB 255, 105, and 30 was my color. Let's double check. Yep, perfect. And we're going to make it not can collide so that it doesn't like touch people and um, then it won't like bug out. It'd be really weird with that. Make sure it's not anchored. That's the only one thing. Do not make sure make sure it's definitely not anchored. Okay, so then we're gonna go local base velocity. Instance dot new body velocity. Then we're going to go base velocity dot particle. Dot name equals force, just force is easy. P. So the P property is, uh, let me quickly pull it up onto studio. So P sets how aggressively the object tries to reach its goal. So, but if PGS uh, is enabled, then it doesn't really matter what you set this to. So it basically sets how hard it will try to get to this goal. And then what we're going to do after that is we're going to go base velocity dot max force equals to three dot new. And we're going to set this to um, infinite. So, what the max force means is how fast the ball can go. And I don't really want to have a limit, so yeah. And then to parent this to the base fireball. Cool. And so that's our base fireball right there. That, that's, that's our base fireball. 
So let's create the little function. So we're going to use local function generate variable. And we're going to take in three properties. So we're going to take the location that we wanted it, the, which will be a, a C frame, the direction, which will be a vector free, and the length, which will be a flow. So it'd be vector free, oh no, C frame first, vector free, and uh, it. Cool. Okay. So we're going to go. So first we're going to clone our base variables. So we're going to look at the variable, space variable clone. And to go to fireball.cframe.location, so that sets it, because remember it's a C frame. And then to go to fireball.cframe.location, uh, well, oh yeah, we need to set force. So we're going to get the base velocity, and we're going to set the velocity to this direction times 100 to make it a little bit faster. And then we're just going to parent this to workspace. Okay, now. After the certain amount of length, we want to destroy this fireball. So how are we going to do this? We could use the delay function, and actually, yeah, let's use the delay function. So we're going to go delay, and we're going to go length function. So this will schedule a weight. So weight, however long we set it to, and then we're just going to go new fireball destroy. So that's that. I was thinking we should use a spawn, but it's a bit. You know. So it's only twenty free lines. One one extra line cut off. And that's it. So now if we want to create a new variable, we'll just go generate variable. We'll go location, direction, and length. That's simple. Now to demonstrate this, I'm just going to make an infinite loop. So we're going to load the while to do. I'm waiting one second so we can like we'll let the studio load. And every 0.25 of a second, we're going to generate a variable. What we're going to do is we're going to go so we're going to create a C frame, so it's going to go C frame dot new, and let's just set it to zero and five zero. And then it's just set the two vector three here. zero zero and zero point five. So it needs to be quite low, so we're going to multiply that by a hundred, obviously. And then we're going to go uh, five seconds, for example. And let's just run that. There we go. See, our fireballs are spinning off. Now these fireballs do not damage the players. However, they actually could. And you see, the fireballs will disappear after five seconds, right here. So if you really want it, you can make this look fancier by tweening this out or then. I'm not going to do that, it's going to become longer. Or you could also, what's another thing you could do? You could make the fireballs damage players when hit. I'm not going to do that as well, that would be a little bit long. And it's basically all you do is you just use a dot touched function and when the fireball is touched then it will just damage the player by what, like five, five, five health or something like that. So yeah. That's the entire script everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, whoever requested it, I hope it helped out someone random, and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more studio tutorials, make sure to put on the stupid um, notification bells, I don't know why we have to do it, it's really weird, it's just Roblox, I um, <laughs> YouTube, not Roblox, and so that's, the, that's it for this tutorial, so yeah, so next tutorial, I don't actually know what's going to be in yet, uh, if you look in the comments down below, or the read below, uh, read more in the description, you should also be able to see what it's going to be. So yeah, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you all later.